This 128-foot-long superyacht runs almost $14 million to purchase. But that's just the beginning of its expenses. It's a city, it's a resort, and it moves. But imagine if that resort sat on top of one of the planet's saltiest, wettest environments. Yacht owners can also expect to pay 10 to 20% of the yacht's value each year simply to maintain it. Super yachts, or yachts longer than 82 feet, can sell for hundreds of millions of dollars. This means maintenance could be tens of millions per year. Here's what goes into this super yacht's estimated annual budget of nearly $1.9 million. Welcome aboard, Snowbird. Costs add up even before owners set sail. Dock and cheese are very expensive. They range from $3.50 a foot to $7.50 a foot per day. Dockage fees can be so high for super yachts, in part because there's a large demand for a limited number of spaces. But if owners keep their yachts docked, they could face other large maintenance expenses. All the works of the bottom of the vessel gets gummed up with oysters and clams and barnacles. A lot of these electronics, they get fouled up if they sit dormant for a long time. It's definitely better to use it than let it sit. While docked, the yacht can connect to the marina's power grid for basic operations. But when it's out at sea, this 368-ton vessel requires fuel. A lot of it. For someone like myself, I call this boat yoga. What we have here is the day tank. This holds approximately 800 gallons of fuel. See the red? That's the amount that's in the tank. In total, this yacht can hold almost 12,000 gallons of fuel. Plus, other water vehicles, like its jet skis and support boat, will need even more gas. Generally, we burn anywhere from 60 gallons an hour to 120 gallons an hour. At around four and a half dollars a gallon. It costs approximately $360,000 per year to fuel Snowbird. But day-to-day -day maintenance is actually the fourth largest operating cost. And it can get messy. Today, we're going to be changing out the crankcase ventilation filter. That keeps your turbos and your aftercooler from getting gummed up, and it also helps reduce oil consumption and reduce air pollution by further combustion inside the engine. This part probably costs $60, $70 to replace, but it has immeasurable value in prolonging the longevity of your motors. Maintaining the engines on a yacht like Snowbird typically costs around $60,000 a year, and you're looking at parts, time, and the materials involved to change the oils and keep everything up and going. That's just below deck. Super yacht owners also need to invest in keeping the rest of the yacht in pristine condition, like the teak flooring. Teak is typically used on yachts because it's a weather-resistant luxury material, but it's also challenging to maintain. When we scrub the teak, oftentimes it only lasts roughly a week or two, depending on the traffic on board. It wants to go back to its natural color, and you know, between rain and rinsing it down, you kind of wash away all of that, you know, hard work that you've done. Annually, the teak flooring costs about $18,000 to maintain. Adding on smaller expenses, you're already looking at just over $1 million. But by far, there's one cost for maintaining super yachts that completely surpasses the others, the crew. The estimated budget for Snowbird's crew is over $800,000 per year. And that's because super yachts must always have a crew, even when docked. You have to take care of the teak, the paint, wash, windows, machinery. Rust never sleeps. Maintenance never stops. Costs towards their health insurance, travel expenses, uniforms, and cell phone bills can add thousands to the budget. Adding in crew expenses brings the annual operating cost estimate to nearly $1.9 million a year. But that's only when there are no major repairs or maintenance. While owners generally spend around 10% a year in maintenance costs for new super yachts. It's kind of a guideline, but as she gets three years or five years or hits her 10 year, it's gonna be more than 10%. Every five years or so, super yacht owners have to shell out for one of their largest expenses. Paint jobs are sometimes from 100,000 to a million bucks, depending on your size of your boat. Paint is about $1,800 an inch. Salt in the water and air corrodes the yacht's paint. To repaint the entire yacht, it needs to be hauled out of the water. Then, it can take months to complete a fresh paint job. There are also other major potential expenses. Some yacht owners need to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars every few years on detailed inspections. And if a yacht fails an inspection, repairing or replacing it could run $200,000 or more. Certain boats, you can't get the engines out. You have to cut a hole in the side. 
and then re-weld it, recertify the hull. Now you're into the multi-millions to change out an engine. To recoup some of these costs, super yacht owners will rent out their vessels. The charter fee for this super yacht ranges from $125,000 to $145,000 per week. That covers the boat and the crew, but renters also need to pay for additional expenses like fuel, food, and customs fees. Plus, there's a customary tip of 18 to 25% for the crew members. At best, super yacht owners might break even on maintenance costs with income earned from chartering. I don't think it's a profitable situation. At best, they're covering their salaries and the boat's way as it travels. Wear and tear is always there, and the money would have to go back into the vessel. If you didn't properly maintain your vessel, your value would decrease. Most people that buy yachts of this size and this stature really want to take care of them. 